folks, can you believe it? We've got another haul. I know it's hard to believe. All kinds of goodies. Some things are going in the store. We have things that I found out in the wild right here on my take on Home and Garden. Folks, come on over. How's your Easter spring decor going on? Are you getting ready? Are you ready for the big day? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, how come I feel like I can see out there? There is some wonderful and good looking people out there. My word. It's just like a two way glass here. <laughs> Let's get on the road to beautiful. We've got some really neat things that I found today. Quite a few. Get your Cocoa Puffs, your popcorn, your peanut brittle, whatever it is you like to watch by, and your coffee or tea because it's going to be more than five minutes. Check that out. Now, this beautiful Nippon Cocoa Pot really tough to get anything lately in violets. Look at this beautiful thing. Made in Japan, hand painted, 18 karat trim at least. Double helix handle I like to call it. And this is a beauty. There's absolutely nothing wrong here. Let's get a cup and saucer. Look at this. And we're going to show our porcelain reveal right with that light. Look how gorgeous. Now this chocolate pot set comes with five cups and two saucers, which is really good when you figure the age of these. This is probably pre-war, right around there, World War II. And for this much to last is a wonderful find. This is so cute. Let's put them together a minute. This set is going to go in our store. Now, real quick, you know, we used to not have a store, but we got so many comments about, do you have a store? Because People know I'm out and about in the wild and finding wonderful things for ourselves. So we puffed it up and tackled having a store. So you can have a chance at some of these finds as well. You know, if we didn't have so much, this little set wouldn't be going anywhere. We do want to share our finds and have some available. I bought this set and I did get to use it on a beautiful table one time. This set, again, it's even got a plus for it. It's Nippon, made in Japan, but it's Noritake, okay? well-known company again with the gold trim delicate floral rose wreaths and this set is even better shape look at that art deco form you see the difference we have our bell form and then our art deco era form this set is in a little better condition because it has four plates and all six cups. You know, over 60, 80 years, people break things. They <laughs> break a lot of things, as you know. This little beauty, look at it. And the major and lesser side is the same. That's the quality of Noritake. There you are. 
six cups and four saucers. I wish I had six saucers. It's very tough when something's this old to have everything. And of course, if it did have everything, the price would be crazy way up there. So there's a break there because there's a couple of things missing from the original. Now, you know, I'm going to use things usually first. This little beauty, I could not resist. It's an eight quart basket, very country. Angela even wrinkled her nose at it. <laughs> I was surprised. But what I love is the hand done artwork on it. And here's peaches, okay, which are mm, after July, typically. And here's plums, which can be right after that. So I loved it. I'm going to use it in the decor. And then this will be available in our store as well, where you're going to go for sweet. It's a little big, I'm not going to put it on the turntable, but we'll get close-ups as I speak. I found this gorgeous Christmas tree with a star on top, Bell, Crystal Bell, with the proper crystal clapper, and it is clear and frosted as well to give it that nice weight really sweet let's see that give that a turn on the turntable you just we had so many christmas bells still have some this bell was bought exclusively to go in our store i'm sure it's not going to last long look how cute of course that clapper's showing off and moving. <laughs> Next, we have a super fan and friend, Pete. I'm going to hold your last name in case you don't really want it used, Pete. You let me know. He's got a wonderful letter here. And of course, he said, you can plainly see the perfume bottle I sent would be for Angela, and then you can f decide who the plates are for. <laughs> what a character. Well, you know, fruit plates like this are going to go in a rack here. In a show rack, most likely. And these are really different. These are by Lennox. And they're Lennox USA. Before I look, let me see if I remember. Yep. How about that? It says Lennox Made in USA Special. And they sure are. Because they're made in USA still. Then, at the 490, somewhere right there. Fantastic. 22 carat gold trim. What a guy. Pete, we thank you, sir. We're going to show this beautiful. Now, is that up Angela's collection street or what? Wonderful. She loved it. So thank you, Pete. What a guy. What a character, too. <laughs> right after we thanked him for these, he sent, said there's another couple of boxes coming. So. Look how gorgeous. And grapes and apples with a skylight background. And this is a particular anniversary plate, I believe. The design is by Eloise Harriet Stannard, 1829 to 1915. Almost a commemorative piece using her art. Wow, look at that beauty. And we're going to easily see porcelain through there like we always do. Real nice. 
really, really nice. Thank you, Pete. Now we'll get to share these with everyone else and use them in our decor. Let me move things down a bit. What else we got? This, if I remember right, I'm sure is really different. You remember our candle climbers or candle huggers. There's one person out there in particular that found me so fast and sent them so fast, I'm sure it's Michael. <laughs> so we just happen to have a candle here available. Oh, they're not gonna grab onto this one. Maybe just the top, okay. I haven't got to try them yet. Look at this. <laughs> the ear's pink and so's Angela's Fenton wonderful candle holder. Look at this taper candle holder in that beautiful water lily pink and white strawberry milk glass. There is another name, it evades me at the time. We'll put them over there. Thanks, Michael. You are something else. Just in time for Easter, of course. No flies on him, I'll tell you that. What else we got going on? This incredible swan by Lennox. I am crazy about it. You guys know I got a swan thing for the spring, sometimes for Christmas, because in Bavaria they had swan shaped sleighs. So really tough. This is so detailed and intricate, I can't get over it. It's one of the favorite things I've ever received from somebody, a fan, a friend. Look at this, there's no doubt about the porcelain. This is thick, you're not gonna see through it, but oh boy. <laughs> this is one of those items that just makes you melt. It's so good. There's layers and layers. You can see the feathers are up over their back like they do and you can see the layering in a fine porcelain, which is just amazing. Gorgeous piece, thank you, Jessica and Michael. Beautiful. Now other super fans are just coming through. Brad and Deb from Pennsylvania, gorgeous. Nippon, early Nippon, probably pre-war, just beautiful. Love this color. It's so different. It's like just dusk. And the cream and sugar match, of course. There is Moriaji on the handles. The pull, the very rim here. All that tiny, tiny beading that's known as Moriachi, okay? If you forgot, hard to beat, but people keep doing it. You can see through. We'll look through the lid, see that? And there's your fine porcelain showing through. Really love those. Those aren't going anywhere. <laughs> They'll stay in the collection, just like the swan. Next, I just found this, this painted tin, lithograph tin, made in England. You know, we have a couple of these and I just nuts about them because the, the lithograph is so good. The printing is so well done. This is by Dare of England. Fabulous. And I just found this at the Robin's Nest. Happy to say. Love it. 
not going anywhere. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Next. Angela discovered how to use eBay. <laughs> I'll tease her about that. Like she's always known how to use it, but she used it for something she found and she wanted to go with her jewelry box collection. And you know, it's not very often. What am I gonna say? Wonderful, that's what I said. Look at this beautiful jewelry box to go with her amazing collection. So I'm really pleased for her to get something new. Next, you know, I had to be on eBay as well. You will not believe this, I don't think. This incredible Capo de Monte coffee pot. Look at this beauty. I can't get over it. The top comes off porcelain rose on the top. I got a heck of a buy on this. Now I have to explain this is a decorative coffee pot only. The only way the handle and the neck could possibly be this slim is that it is not hollow. So just so you know about that. Classic cream body cocoa accents with the pink and light green decorative three-dimensional touches on there. I went nuts over it. Got a heck of a buy too. You such a buy you just don't get a buy like that very often. I don't want to quote everything because nothing else on there out of 1,200 items was even close to this good of a buy. <laughs> because the Capo de Monte holds its value, holds its money pretty high. Okay, now, proud to say it, Miss Deb's Blue Springs Vintage Teapot with Terracotta Highlights on a porcelain background. Look at this. This, frankly, I'm pretty sure is stoneware because of the weight. I'm nuts about it. To go with the theme I talked about, if you watched our last haul, you see why things come in and they go back out so that we can show you more. Couple more things to get down here. Moving right along pretty good. If there's any luck at all, I'll get this on one memory chip. <laughs> Couple of things. This was uh, Blue Vintage, Blue Springs Vintage, and this one Blue Springs Vintage also, I loved it. A nice medium upright terracotta face with some caramel and some icing highlights on there I thought would go really good with what I'm gonna do for decorating for summer. Alrighty, and back to Robin's nest. Look at this barn owl. <laughs> He's fantastic. Now he is made by Royal Crown. Now there's a Royal Crown Derby in England. And that's not in my five minutes of looking at it. That's not the crown stamp that I have on this. So I'm thinking this is Royal Crown, Japan. 
not 100%, but it's one of those, okay? Still, he'd come in around $35 on eBay, and I got him with 20% off that she was running this week. Got him for 21. Really happy. Not a mark, nothing wrong. Super, I think, you know, I've got an owl this tall I've had for 30 years and just had to come up with another porcelain owl. We have some stuffy ones for, you know, stuffed ones for Christmas, but nothing like this guy in a fine porcelain. Look how good. At Marshalls, making the tour. Okay, anybody try these bamboo utensils yet? I want to tell you, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight in here. Spoons and spatulas, some with the grate and some solid. Okay, I've had some of these and I cannot wear them out. They don't split, they're not bent, they're not broke. I've never thrown one away. I think I've had them for 10 years. I liked them so much, I only had like a four pack. I just wanted more. Okay, are you ready? Eight utensils in that pressed bamboo, $5.99. Where are you gonna go? Unbelievable. Let me make sure I'm saying the right thing. TJ Maxx, just what I said. <laughs> okay. Next, I got the cutest darn little three pack carrots some of you try to make your own they just don't look like this one bottom carrot has a beans in it like a bean weight bean bag to keep it down i loved the leaves the color the fact that it was three different materials it's not fuzzy it doesn't fall apart Loved this, and this was somewhere around $4.99. Just thought it cute as can be, so we'll use that in the decor. Guys, I can't believe it. We blasted through all that stuff, all those goodies, and thanks, folks. Take care, blessings, world peace, and we'll see you again at the amazing, incredible collector and decorator video right here, you know it, on my take on Home and Garden. We appreciate all our friends and fans, all our subscribers that are here, you know it too. That's why you're still here. Be good and see you in the next one.